Hey everyone, Ben here from Vance Outdoors and today we're talking about two new scopes from Vortex. We have the 3 to 15 by 44 long range scope and the 1 to 6 by 24 LPVO. First up, we're going to talk about the 3 to 15 by 44, which is this model right here. And both of these scopes are in the Venom line from Vortex. This one in particular has two different reticles. You have an uh, MOA, which is the one we have here, and they have an MRAD as well. First, let's talk about the reticle. This has the EBR-7C long range tactical style reticle inside. It's not illuminated, but uh, this is a first focal plane scope. So the reticle will zoom in with power. So when you zoom in with the scope, the reticle gets bigger, and that means that your subtensions and all of your ticks and hash marks in here are gonna be accurate no matter where the uh, magnification is. You have three different turrets on this scope here. You have your elevation, which is exposed. You wanna be able to see those elevation numbers without having to do anything but spin the dial. Now your windage scope is capped on the left side is your parallax dial. And what that's gonna do is adjust your focal plane so that you have a parallax-free reticle when you're looking through this scope. What that means, a brief description of that is, if you were to line your thumb up with, with your thumb close to your face and a thumb away from your face, and you line those up, and if you were to move your head the reticle, which would be the thumb closest to you, is going to move around. Now what that scope is going to do with the parallax dial, it's going to focus your target in the same focal plane as the reticle. So it's going to bring the target closer in the focal plane. So that if you bring your fingers close together like this and you move around, your reticle is going to be right on top and it's going to be parallax free. That's essentially what this one is doing. Now there's a whole lot of different stuff you have to do to set that up to make it perfect and the instruction manual with this scope is going to tell you how to do all that. Now let's run through the specs on this 3 to 15 by 44. The overall length is 13.4 inches. The weight is 28.5 ounces. The tube size is 34 millimeter and the eye relief is 3.5 inches. Now I'm just gonna cover what comes in the box when you pick up this, this rifle scope here. You have a throw lever to help your magnification dial spin a little bit faster. You have a three inch sunshade. You have the RevStop Zero Ring, a tethered lens cover, the two millimeter custom tool and a lens cloth. And to wrap things up on this rifle scope here, it's designed towards the weekend warrior, you know, weekend tactical shooter, long range person, someone that's um, a little more, getting a little more serious about long range shooting with the reticle and everything included, the parallax dial and all that stuff. This is a perfect, entry-level tactical long-range rifle scope. Next up, we're gonna talk about this LPVO here, and this is the one to six by 24. This is a second focal plane optic, which means that all of the tick marks and all the subtensions and everything in this reticle are calibrated out to max power. So this has to be on six power for everything in this reticle to be spot on accurate. This is the AR BDC3 reticle and it's illuminated. So you have the horseshoe and the dot that both light up and they're red and it has a power dial here on the left side. So you can increase or decrease the illumination in this scope, very cool. This also has a range finding feature at the top and for that to be accurate, you have to be at six power. So this has to be on six and then you can range a torso size target out to 600 yards using that feature up top on the reticle there. Very cool. The elevation and windage turrets on this scope are capped, uh, but they are also re-indexing. So once you take these caps off and you zero this scope, 
you can re-index both the elevation and windage back to zero. So that way when you need to make any corrections, you're starting from zero at your 100 yard zero, whatever you zero the rifle at. The length on this scope is 10.3 inches. The weight is 19 and a half ounces. The tube size is 30 millimeter. And the eye relief is 3.7 inches. Now I'm gonna take a quick second and just show you what comes in the box when you buy this new LPVO. You get a throw lever, flip caps for the front and back, a CR2032 battery, a two millimeter custom tool, a lens cloth, and a two inch sunshade. Before we wrap things up on the LPVO here, I just wanna talk about use cases really fast. This is the perfect optic for um, reaching out past 100 yards accurately. It doesn't mean you can't do that with a normal red dot, but this is definitely gonna help you be a lot more accurate out to 600 yards. And the cool thing about the LPVO is it has one power, so you can still engage a target up close, and then you have six all the way to six power, which is gonna help you reach out to about 600 yards, especially with the reticle here, which has the range finding option like we talked about before. All right, let me grab this other one real fast, and that's gonna wrap up our video today. We talked about the three to 15 by 44, and we have this in MOA and MRAD, and we talked about the one to six by 24 LPVO, and that is an MOA optic. Now, if you're interested in checking these out, we're gonna have all three scopes available at all of our stores. We're also gonna have them available online if you're into shopping online, so uh, check them out. If you have any questions and want to see these in person, make sure you stop by one of the stores and talk to one of our employees there. They'll be able to help you if you have questions about rings or offset mounts or reticles, whatever, whatever kind of questions you have about these, our employees are going to be able to help you out with that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button down below. And if you don't follow us on all of our social media platforms, We'd really appreciate it if you go follow all of those as well. Again, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.